Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Foul! That has been the greatest thing that has happened to me today is seeing Philly 500 saying, Mark Holmes is my daddy. Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I have been in a funk today and have been depressed because I've been seeing things that are going on. And in fact, we actually were recording our video here. Shit has been so bad after almost a 30 minute video. I had accidentally unplugged my computer and the battery died. And lost the recording. Game time. How you doing, yes, Mr. Mailman? Uh, listen, I've obviously been better personally. I'm feeling a little better, a little bit. Not great, but um, as far as our Cowboys are concerned, not good. When you look around the NFL, mm -hmm. and I know you have all of it right in front of you, I would assume, the NFL is making moves. The NFL is doing their jobs. These front offices all across the league or opening up space ahead of the free agent period. Mm -hmm. And then we have our Cowboys. Okay, now, now first of all, something really, really important now. Um, I finally put a mailbox out front. It, did, did that look like it's regulation? You it know, did, it they, did. Okay. I looked it up. I came out and measured for you. I, I still had to go up and pick up my package. And they said, well, we're glad that you got a mailbox there. But if it's too big to go in the mailbox, you'll still have to bring your ass down here to pick it up. Yeah. <sighs> so there's that. Okay, so I want to recap before – well, no, go ahead. You were telling me the breaking news because I, I literally – I have to laugh or I'll cry. Well, okay. What was – about this cap space right is now, crazy. Right now, as we sit, not counting what I'm going to tell you, how much are the Washington Commanders under the – how much money do they have to play with? Well, I'm old enough to remember like a few days ago when it was $78 million and they were leaving. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. Okay. But they're no longer leading. It is now the New England Patriots at the moment, which is a fluid situation, at one hundred and one million dollars in cap space. And they just they just released JC Jackson to add another fourteen point three to that. So they're you're looking wow. most likely that has an update because it just came over uh in the last half hour. Okay. So um the commanders are my guess is that they're one hundred and fifteen million under the cap. Okay. Bill Belichick's like, why the hell couldn't we do this last year? Yeah. Commanders are at 91. <laughs> well, I get, you say commanders are 91. They just released Charles Leno and Logan Thomas well, to save another $14 million. Damn. So now you're 101, okay. 105 now. Bears that have two first-round picks and could get a boatload if they decide to, to make a trade have 78. Mm, the mm, Titans mm. have 75. The Colts have 70. The Texans have 69. The Cardinals even have 55. But you know what's interesting is I remember seeing the Saints were at 1.73 million over. They're down to 16. Wow. What's, wow. You know, the Cowboys, you know, we do things differently in Dallas. The Cowboys are the only one that their cap number got worse. They were nine and a half. Now they're ten and a half. They're going the wrong direction. The commanders have a hundred thousand dollars more in cap space. Plus the the, the updates. Hundred million. Hundred million. The Patriots without the update are a hundred and ten million more than the Cowboys. Wow. Wow. And so, wow. okay, so, so far, what have we done to make ourselves better this week? We have made a move, da-da-dunt, da da dun. We have taken care of Trey Lance and made sure that he will be on the roster with the four, uh, $4.2 million. So he'll be getting 5.1 on the salary cap for the Cowboys. He will be back. We are... Talking to Tyron Smith's agent, so we have to assume he's coming back, right? Leighton Van Der Esch, they said he's going to decide his future. And Michael Gallup, we've talked to his agents. 
Have I gotten it right so far? Um, so far, that's the exciting news we have. And I mean, I can't. You know, nothing so. is scheduled with Dak, CD, or Micah. And we don't have cap space, which we have to have by the 13th. We have to be below. We have to find $10 million. And at this pace, I don't know that we will by the 13th. And or more money if you're going to sign a free agent. Is it safe to say we won't be signing anybody the first two weeks? Uh, I hope you're wrong with that, Mark. We need to. If you want to get better as a team, we need to be aggressive in getting a linebacker and a defensive tackle in here day one. Uh, you know, um, it doesn't have to be the highest guy, but like you need to have earmarked guys that you want day one. Okay. If not, then we're doomed. Well, we are doomed. I, I think it's safe to say that we we don't have the money right now. Well, and we don't have it, by it, law. They have to be under the cap here's, by here's the thing. Thirteenth. So here's the thing: is the combine is where all the agents are. All the front personnel there, the team and the owners and all that. This is where people start talking to each other about trades and saying, you know, we're interested in you coming our way. We, we know it's technically tampering, but you got a good idea who you may be able to start swaying. They're not talking to anybody except for Tyron Smith and Michael Gallup's agents. And you got no money at the moment. Now, I, I have an interesting thought here with us bringing back Trey Lance. Because here's the problem with Trey Lance. You either need to put on the fifth-year option or you're going to have to get him an extension at mm -hmm. the end of next year, right? If you don't yes. play him next year, he's probably going to say, I'm out of here because I want to try and get a starting gig. Uh, I would hope that Dak he would. not here. Exactly. When they picked him up, that was I had a side eye because – it's a negotiation tactic, one, but two, it's a fallback, and he's a fallback, okay? Or you, is it actually the plan? Because If it's the plan, then let's just it, be honest with out, the hear, fans. Hear me out for a second here. If you look at the Cowboys' all-time leading records, Dak Prescott is exactly 4,724 yards behind Tony Romo and 46 TDs. It would have to be a hell of a season. Now, he has had 4,902, which was one yard short of Tony Romo's all-time season record. That is actually obtainable. The 46 TD passes, uh, that, that, that would be really hard, although he's had 37. Is it possible that Jerry Jones does not want Dak Prescott to be have all these records? And that maybe that's the reason why he's had second thoughts about getting this deal done? It's quite possible. I mean, nothing else makes any sense, so why not add that to the mix? I never thought of that. That's um, pretty scary to think that he's that close and uh, at every turn that they've seemed to be you able know, to struggle to show him the money, you know, so to speak. They made him play for what? Two million dollars on the final year of his deal. Yeah, they they franchised him twice, gave him the short term money, begrudgingly gave him a long term deal, a three year deal, and following year they took his number one receiver away and said, "Hey, you're making the big bucks, you buddy. Basically, you got to win. You know, yeah, the good ones win without in town around them. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah, okay. So, um, the proof is then." The pudding here. Yeah, think about this. So, um, he got six hundred thirty million his first year. He actually, because he played so well, he got an incentive pay um, of an additional one hundred and thirty thousand. So it was two, two, uh, two million uh, twenty five thousand. Then it was franchise tagged, where he got the thirty one year number five. Mm, mm, mm. It's crazy to think that the Cowboys are doing things that they're doing. The only thing that, that's been interesting, at least, because Philly 500 came back at me, is that the Cowboys are interested in trying to get Hargrave. With Not Hargrave, Reddick. I mean, Reddick, excuse me. Reddick. With what? Uh, we would have to give up more draft capital, but that we can't afford to give up. I was like, 
And, and We're course, not doing that. He's on. Well, no, he's, it, it wasn't Philly 500. The, he actually, uh, Mike Fisher was talking about it from somebody else that was talking about it. That maybe Cowboys, if he, yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're not going to trade with the Cowboys to get Reddick. That's yeah. nonsense. Uh, I'm, so. just, I'm just putting. It I, that this, I know. This I know. Is a silly season. I'm trying. You, you're asking for something positive. Okay. You're okay. It's nice that we're positive. in those conversations, and they're probably laughing as soon as they hang up the phone. If I'm Howie Roseman, you know, I'm looking at an article here, Mark, and I don't know what you want to talk about, but <laughs> excuse me, the Cowboys wire here. Go ahead. Then you wonder why we can't stop the run. The Cowboys paltry. Investment in the linebacker position shows less than 4% of the cap allotted towards that position. So, again, you know, when you like, you see the teams running all over us, and uh, like, it makes you wonder what Stephen Jones is doing. He's obviously doesn't want to exceed the 15 a percent allotted to the quarterback position because he loves throwing numbers out when he's in a negotiation. Wow, well, well, now hold on. You know, there's wait, a hard wait, wait, cap. Wait, let's back this uh, up. Hold, okay, hold, hold, but we're going to give guys out, that are coming out. out of surgery time long-term out. extension. Time out. Because the Cowboys, at the moment after paying Trey Lance, along with Cooper Rush and Dak, have the highest total gross of quarterback compensation in the NFL. Mm-mm-mm. Well, because they're counting Dak with the fifty nine point four, correct? I'm saying we got sixty seven million dollars tied yeah. up with yeah. quarterbacks. Okay. Yep. And it doesn't appear that they're interested in changing that dynamic. Not working on Dak Prescott's contract. That's the easy one to go ahead and get a whole bunch of money. Well. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to look forward to the draft, but we ain't even got that many picks to try to fix this team. No, we we don't. Um, I I still have faith that they, listen, they have to, by law, they have to get under the cap. So, but I will be honest with everybody. My first experience, my first reaction and experiencing the, the blow up of the salary cap was jubilation happiness and it's it's turned to oh my god it's not a good thing because it does give them an option to ride this thing out the year that's now on the table by this extra money they could restructure the deal he'll still be a free agent after the year will still own a crap ton of money on the contract but that allows us to make a couple moves, yeah. not restructure deck, and uh, basically not do nothing this year because that's what that's what's going to happen. So um, that's a that's a sad thought. Here I'm thinking restructure, get a deal for CD, uh, get forty five fifty million under, go hit a couple big boys in free agency, whether linebacker, defensive line, possibly a running back on the cheap like a Henry or whoever, then go into the draft with your minimal bullets and maybe trade down or whatever, whatever. That's the way to go about this thing. Right. But if you're telling me, well, so my question to you is, right? My question to you is this. This whole Jimmy Johnson is part of the mm. the uh, the thought, the think tank now. He's, he, you know, Jerry's going to be able to talk to Jimmy are you telling me? Then what would Jimmy possibly tell Jerry Jones about well, the team? Here's where Walker Wade sent me a text and said, what if Jimmy Johnson said to Jerry, with these guys and their attitude, that you can't win with them and that you just need to get rid of them or make them all feel uncomfortable? There was an interesting story um, that's come out that the Cowboys from the, the secretaries – to the scouting department, to the coaches, it's, it's become a toxic environment because everybody's looking at it and saying, we don't know who's going to be here. That everybody is looking around and kind of like, this ain't good. And I will say, this is the worst I've ever felt as a Cowboy fan. Well, I said this when they brought back 
uh, McCarthy and didn't extend him. And but now we're learning that Mike Zimmer was hired on a one year deal. It's unheard of. So it's like, uh, why? why? Why not just, um, just. That's no way to win. Okay. Th that mentality doesn't work. Again, you're a losing franchise as far as in the postseason. I, you can tell me about all the regular season wins that you've had in the last three years. Uh, okay. It's what have you done when you know, the games count, when you play the good teams. You know, I've rattled off the record this year against sub-500 teams and teams with winning records and playoff teams. The, you know, the record was even worse. Mm -hmm. So it's not a way to win. Again, it's a way to make money. It's a way to sell merchandise through the holidays, but it's not a way to win. And um, there's no end in sight unless they got plans that they're getting ready to unleash. It needs to happen quick because time is uh, wasting and free agency is upon us in another week and a they few days. They are so far behind everybody. You know, it, it's like I think about the Eagles with Kevin Bird, okay? They, they looked and they said, we got a problem in our defense and, you know, let's try and get a safety. They, they tried. They paid him last year. It didn't work out, okay? Uh, the linebacker that we brought in um, – you know, to, for uh, and, and they ended up signing. That didn't work out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. at least you can say that there's somebody at the wheel. The Shaq and, Leonard. Uh, yeah. Shaq Leonard, right. That they're at least trying to take care of a problem. We lose Leighton Vander Esch week four, and what is our solution? We'll just take a safety and make him a linebacker. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. at least they go ahead and they say, you know what? This shit ain't working. Let's move on. I'm I'm on record. If we go out and get two free agents and one of them stinks, I'm not going to blame them. I understand free agency is not a 100% deal. You, you, there is risk in it. But Mr. Wildcatter himself, Jerry Jones, this, this should tell you that he's not manning the wheel anymore or he's not allowed to because everything good in life comes with some sort of risk. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you can look at your life, Mark, and there was a there was a time in your life where you could have went either way, and you rolled the dice, and you went all in on your way, and it it seems to work out for you, right? You you know, it's like you can't go nowhere unless you put your yourself out there, and the fact that we're playing this timid game. And now we want to keep everybody on one-year deals. Nobody's comfortable. Yeah, you're right. Us fans, we're not comfortable because you're making more and more money. The ticket prices are going up. The, the vending sales are going up. The parking prices is going up. And you ain't doing shit with our money. Nothing. What are you doing? We like our own guys. <laughs> okay. How's that? So I mean... You got to go out and get yourself a free agent or two. Nobody's saying it's got to be the best guy. It doesn't have to be Patrick Queen. It, you know, it doesn't. But you are, you're telling me where everybody else in the league are going out getting their house in order. Literally everybody. Mm -hmm. The Eagles were behind us, are now ahead of us by a lot in cap space. Now, can we get there? Yes, we can. But why does this team feel the need to wait till the last second? It's not good for my health. How about you? It's killing me. So here's my real question now. Because if I'm Dak... I'm tired of these negatives. It, well, Can we I, sign I'm, somebody I'm, big? I'm tired of it too, but there's nothing positive to say. I, I, I can't. I, I have literally tried to find something positive to say, and I can't find Can we do something friggin' positive? Okay. They shit on you. They, they Our have. front office is shitting on us. Okay, if you are, <laughs> you could, if, oh no, but seriously, if you're a player right now, uh, they you, shit on you. <laughs> if you're Dak Prescott, you can, I would be gone, baby. I would be looking at where can I land next year. I'd be looking at all the organizations now. Las Vegas, here I come, baby. I'm like Las Vegas. I'm coming. I'm I'm going to Las Vegas. There you go. I'm just sitting there thinking in my mind, if I'm looking at it, the only thing I don't have right now, Dak, if I'm Dak Prescott, is a ring. And if you're not going to do something with Dak Prescott's contract, and if you're not going to bring anybody else in, and you've got everybody on a one-year deal, you've set yourself up for failure right now. Why do I want to stay here? Because 
if Mike, Bac- if, if you're not going to do anything to try and make yourself better, and we know the Eagles are going to try and do everything they can, and you don't make the playoffs, and Mike McCarthy's gone, Mike Zimmer's gone, that means you're bringing in a whole new coaching staff. They're going to probably clean house and start all over. Why would you stay if you're Dak Prescott? Why would you sign a contract to stay if they're not going to be serious about trying to win? Because that's the one thing that you need to have is that Super Bowl ring. Yeah, you, that's what that would seal your legacy. Cowboy, if you can get it, that would cowboy, seal it. Then, then you, to all the haters, that would seal it. You would hate it. Uh, yeah, meaning the haters. But that's all he needs. He don't have to do anything else. Yeah, he can. I mean, he could win an MVP. He's been a runner-up two out of the last three years. Deal with it, people. Dak Prescott's been the MVP runner-up two out of the last three years. Very, very consistent quarterback when healthy. Very, very consistent. Yes, he needs help in the playoffs, like every freaking quarterback in the NFL does. There's only one Patrick Mahomes. And guess what? Patrick Mahomes didn't do it on his own this year. No, but he he does a lot with less. I I will say that. He is just... uh, at the end of game situations, shame on you if it's a one score game. Shame on you because you're going to lose. I mean, he's doing it with Pat, uh, Patrick, you know, Valdez Scaling, whatever the hell his name is, Valdez Scaling, who they just cut, doing it with seventh round running backs, doing it with, I mean, they got an offensive lineman hurt and missed the Super Bowl. If that was us, Mark, you would have been like, oh my God, if Tyron Smith's out. How are the Cowboys going to protect Dak? It would have been a whole narrative. Leave it up to the Super Bowl. If it was Dallas, other teams find a way. But I think it's a culture problem. You, you know, when you say the, or you know, when they say this, a Dallas have a culture problem. They damn sure do. And you know what? It's not in the locker room. It's upstairs in the front office. That's where the culture is bad. Okay, the culture is bad. You you can believe me or not believe me, but I there's articles. Okay, that are written that say that Dallas, their own players think they have one of the worst facilities as far as here. Let me find it. Players rank Jones, bottom half of owners and their training staff, third worst. It goes on about their food. Remember, we were talking about they have to pay for their food. It's an article. You should definitely well, check it out. That. It's yeah. on um, charge them whether you eat there or not. You're getting charged to eat at the, the star. Yeah, you know, I, I believe it was the Cowboys wire. There's an article there. It literally hammers the Cowboys. So, okay, who are you impressing, Stephen? And I'm not, again, I want to talk about good stuff. I go to bed, put my head on my pillow. I think we're going to do good things. And then I wake up to everybody else is getting their house in order. And what are we doing? <sighs> Nothing. We're sitting on our thumbs. And I'm sorry to be negative, people. I do not want to be negative. But I don't know what else we could do. We, we're we here doing content, and we got to speak what we see. You know what we see? We no, see nothing yeah, but bumpy road ahead as of right now. Dak Prescott, you need to go, my man. You need to go to a place that uh, appreciates you and that is willing to go all in under you. Yeah, that's not you know, good. Unless something happens, Mark. Unless they flip a switch. And they're 35, 40 million under, and they make a couple moves. I got to stop talking to you because you're not helping me any. Well, I'm not here to help. You You know, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I mean, do you have anything that you can, like, you cheer me up with? Do you tell me something? Tell me a story. I don't know. That this is every year, and somehow we end it up with It seems worse wins? this year. It definitely seems worse. But I don't know. I'm when, a Dallas when we, fan. When we traded I'm, Amari Cooper for a fifth round pick. That was bad. But it, listen, we we still had hope then. My ho- We're coming off a 12-win season, Mark. We're and, coming and off a 12-win season, and we're acting like that we're the sisters of the poor here, and we're, and, you know, that we're not going to do nothing. All right. They're All right. acting like that we've done something in the playoffs and uh, we've been to the mountaintop and we could take a year off and reload. No, you haven't done nothing. Sorry. I don't know. What do you got for me? I, I ain't got anything, man. Um, I'm going to go out and play in the highway. Don't do that. Don't let that team you know, do that. No. Uh-uh. Uh, it, it, it literally is that bad, man. Um, I mean, I see articles like Cowboys Update. 
They see big, big bump, a uh, jump for Mozzie in 2024. Wow. So that's what we got to look forward to. Mozzie Smith having a big jump in 2024. There it is. Article up on DallasCowboy.com. So they got their writers pumping out their narrative. Go talk about Mozzie. He's going to put on the weight again. He's going to be good. Whatever. It still has him at 6'3", 337. Fix your website. You lost 40, 40 pounds, pounds for Dan Quinn, for crying out loud. All right. He went from a one technique to a friggin' three technique in the middle of a season. Unheard of. But anyway, please, yeah. please. Well, I'll be here when something happens, I, so let me know. I think I'm going to go do some more work. Uh, you know, I put my mailbox up. Okay? <laughs> you got to go whittle wood. <laughs> I, 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 put, I put my mailbox up. I hope it's regulation size and everything else. Oh, so that shit. way I can get some mail here at the red brick house and stuff. But. I can't find anything positive to say. Well, you know, listen, we have a lot of talent on this football team. We do have 16 free agents. We've already talked about how many we want to bring back, okay? Not many. So it's not like, oh, my God, we're losing all these free agents. That That's not the reason why well, we're we at where we're at. It's the Michael Parsons, the Dak Prescott. Well, we still have to sign the, somebody to fill the holes. We I understand. I understand that. And we're, and we're going to get under. If there's a... Any what, what are they these two are light. They have to, by law, by NFL rules, they have to get under the cap, and they have Hold to have on. enough room to do? sign to their Pinks draft and, class. What are they going to do? Go to Pinks and get some Rosie O'Donnells to fill out the roster? Go get me a Guadalajara and a <laughs> and a fifth of uh, and a forty of old E. Yeah. There you go. I mean, come that's, on, man. That's what I need. And it's crazy to think that the Eagles have fifty million dollars more than us. And they've signed and locked up. Oh, there's Catboy up there. Oh, that's just what I needed to see. Freaking Catboy at the Combine up there. You know? Oh, with Will McClay. Oh, with his arms crossed there. With a bottle of freaking water. Screw oh, you, God. Catboy. Screw you. <laughs> just what I still I needed. think they're going to do something. As negative as this was, I got hope. I have to have hope. If the Eagles can get... 30 million under the cap. So can uh, we. No, 41. 41. 41. 41. But listen, they got to resign Devontae Smith. So they're bringing back CJ Gardner Johnson. That's the rumor I'm hearing. So they're going to do good things. Uh, us, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we're doing. We have to. We don't have enough Stephen Jones, players. You know who else doesn't know what we're doing? Stephen Jones. Yeah, that's, it's quite possible. It's, it's quite possible. But we're going to be here to talk about it, regardless. All right, okay. man. Um, I got my live stream at 9 o'clock tonight. And oh, it's I forgot. It's, it's, it's Friday. Friday night. Yummy. And then Sunday I'll be headed back up to Harrisburg um, to finish off that bathroom and things. Uh, I, I, I can't even be I, – I, I just can't. So I appreciate your game time. Thank you, man. Thank what, you. I appreciate you, you too. What you got coming up, man? Uh, well, breaking. We're going to be hitting board. this free agent frenzy soon, right? It may not be us, but we're going to hit it. Uh, I expect them to do some things, people. Uh, I'm not trying to be ho hum here, but I they have to get under the cap. Okay, uh, by let, rule. Let, let me um, let me let me put the narrative out there. For everybody else, free agent frenzy is like Shark Week. For us, it's like feeding the goldfish. <laughs> Wait for the Anthony bars to surface to the top and barely have any life left, and then we bring them back to life for a year, and then they retire. <laughs> is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, that's or, basically it. This will be the year we get Bobby Wagner. How's that? Is no, that going to make you excited? Too late. I don't think he's coming. I think he's going to Washington. They're mm -hmm. telling you. Every, you laughed at me when I said that the commanders are going to win a division. Watch oh, the, with, with that easy schedule that they're going to have. Watch. Now, I'm not saying they're going to amount to nothing. And we may go farther. But they're going to win division. Mm. Mark my words. All right. So, definitely going out on the highway to play. All right, good people. <laughs> I will see you guys at 9 o'clock. Peace.